Hey everyone, Dan Takashi. I want to give you guys a quick update on global news that has happened during the last 24 hours. Uh, today currently is 7.08 a.m. Tokyo, Japan time. It is uh, February the 13th, uh, meaning that it is U.S. Eastern time zone. It is February the 12th, uh, currently 5.08 p.m. My name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. See the police, see the uh, below description area as to who I am. I would appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel and also press the thumbs up like, uh, like button if you enjoyed today's content. Uh, as usual guys uh, all types of global news it's all reflected in the markets so let's first start uh, objectively look at the numbers first before looking at the articles because if you look at the articles first it tends to kind of sway all of our opinions so let's look at the numbers see how that goes and from there around let's go into each type of news also guys would appreciate if you do enjoy today's content uh, forwarding my channel link to any of your family and friends uh, to sort of uh, you know uh, help me out I would very much appreciate your help so let's get started here. Looking at the Dow Jones today, uh, it was up 0.09%. The S&P 500 was up 0.47%. NASDAQ was up 0.5%. Uh, TSX Canada was up 0.37%. Looking into Europe, we see Eurostock 50 was up 0.65%. And FTSE 100 UK was up 0.94%. Uh, DAX Germany was up 0.06%. And CAC France was up 0.6%. Uh, IBEX Spain was up 0.22%. Uh, looking into Asia, this was for yesterday those of you in Asia again this is the 12th Nikkei was down 0.14% Topix was up 0.16% Hansen was up 0.45% uh, this is again for the 11th is a little bit outdated here and ASX uh, was down 0.63% this is for the 12th here so guys that's overall what happened in global markets very little going on here very little bit of movement very low volume again I think the biggest update that came out this week was Bitcoin how it's now being implemented in so many parts of society now and I think that this is continuing to have a big move on Bitcoin it's probably gonna go for 50,000 uh, so I'm doing more updates on that otherwise guys uh, I think a big update today came out from uh, you know Bank of America talking about how the global weekly inflows into equity this week was the biggest ever in history uh, so that again is bringing up a lot of questions whether U.S. markets right now, world markets are overvalued or not. So I'll do another update on this today. Uh, so please see that video later on. Let's now move on to economic news and what happened today, guys. In terms of economic news, the biggest economic news came out from U.S. consumer sentiment today. It came out at a six month low of 76.2 in February from 79 in January, well below the market forecast of 80.8. Uh, otherwise, guys, we're seeing here the UK economy expands faster than forecast in the fourth quarter to 1% uh, in, in the, the, the October to December period, uh, easing from the 16.1% expansion in the previous quarter. Uh, otherwise, not much, guys. Uh, Brazil economic activity rises the least in eight months as we see the IBC BR index of economic activity in Brazil advanced 0.64% from a month earlier. Uh, so guys, for the most part, things look all right. The U.S. consumer uh, in the index is showing that again, U.S. consumers still are not uh, feeling so hot and so great about the economy yet. Uh, again, it probably is due to the fact that a lot of the U.S. is still sitting indoors and they cannot go outside. So uh, once the vaccine really gets uh, permeated throughout society, I think that people will start to feel better maybe towards the spring and summer. Now let's do an update guys on global new daily cases that was announced today. Uh, looking at global new cases for coronavirus today announced for February 11th here, we see 444,647. Uh, daily new deaths today we also see announced for February 11th at 13,364. So both of these continue to show evidence that this third wave is over and things overall are getting better here. Uh, we do see that global new daily new cases today announced. Again, uh, for the U.S. today it was over 100,000, but just a little bit, oh, 106,000 here. Brazil at about 54. 4,000, France around 21,000, and Spain, Italy, Russia, UK, Mexico, India, uh, I'm sorry, uh, in Mexico, Germany, anywhere between 10,000 to 20,000 as well. So again, these numbers, I, I think are just showing a steady decrease overall in a uh, number of daily new cases. Uh, otherwise, we see here uh, more and more news about uh, coronavirus. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control, has set guidance for schools to reopen safely in the, during the pandemic, uh, especially around the world, especially in the U.S., uh, taking a lot of uh, priority, especially on students and teachers to make sure that they can reopen safely right now. So I think this is going to have a big news on, I think, mindset as well for people. Uh, otherwise, I thought business news is important here. Uh, Google, Microsoft, and Qualcomm are protesting 
testing NVIDIA's acquisition of ARM H here. Uh, I think that this would also have a big impact on SoftBank as well if they do not approve this deal. Uh, but again, this is also risked for SoftBank that the current owner of ARM, uh, however, you know, they've been trying to sell this for a long time. We'll see if this actually uh, gets approved or not, but my guess is it's probably is going to get approved even though these uh, companies are trying to uh, protest it, pro uh, you know, protest this situation. Um, for the most part, guys, I don't see much else here. Uh, we're seeing that, you know, uh, Draghi, Mario Draghi, he is going to be the new, new Italian premier. I couldn't believe that news. That's incredible. Uh, but yes, I guess he did a good job for the ECB chief. Um, and otherwise, more political news. The lawyers are accusing uh, the Democrats. Uh, uh, Trump's lawyers are accusing Democrats of a double standard in the trial. Uh, again, talking about how uh, prosecuting Trump on the charge of inciting the deadly capital riot last month after using combative language themselves as well. Uh, so this continues to go on with the trial, but nothing really new coming on. Uh, just kind of, you know, Trump's lawyers making their side saying that this is uh, based on sort of a monstrous lie, etc. Uh, the interrogation, etc. just continues. So not much, guys. Overall, I think I thought the biggest news probably today was the fact that, you know, these weekly flows came in for the S&P 500 very high. This bear and bull market indicator for the uh, U.S. market is coming in very high right now. Markets are looking pretty hot right now, maybe a little overheated. So stay tuned for my next video today. Thanks, guys, for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I would appreciate if you guys press that like button as well as send my channel link to any of your friends and friends, friends and family would appreciate your support. Thanks, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.